The German Spitz is one of the oldest dog breeds originating from Europe. Attentive, energetic, and devoted, these pups have some of the best qualities among any dog breed around. German Spitzes go by several other names such as Spitz, German Spitz Mittelspitz, and Deutscher Spitz. If you'd like to bring home a dog of this breed, look for them at your local shelter or rescue. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. These adorable pooches can make great apartment dogs due to their small stature and are suited for any type of household or family, though they have a tendency to be yappy. If you want an energetic, firecracker, dog who will keep you on your toes, alert you to any potential dangers, and love you unconditionally, this may be the right dog for you. History. The first mention of the German Spitz comes from Count Eberhard Zusein of Germany around 1450. He praised the breed as a brave protector of their homes and fields. Many early German Spitzes lived in the province of Pomerania, located on the southern edge of the Baltic Sea close to what is now Germany and Poland. The German Spitz is known to be an ancient dog breed and one of the oldest coming from Germany and Europe in general. Though they are a small bunch, these dogs are very alert and vocal. Fishermen would take them on their boats as watchdogs for their goods and trades. They were also used on farms to alert the farmers of any nearby intruders. In Germany, they are sometimes referred to as Mistbeller, or Dung Hill Barkers, as they like to sit somewhere high like a hill and keep watch. They were popular among royalty in the upper class in England, and in the 18th century when King George I took the throne, he and his wife had several German Spitzdogs. Though they were almost extinct around the time of the First World War, they eventually made a comeback and are well off today. Size. Though the German Spitz is an ancient breed, there are a few standards when it comes to size. You can expect these pooches to be on the smaller side. Most weigh in at 21 to 29 pounds and range in height from 12 to 15 inches at the shoulder. That said, many German Spitz can be smaller or larger than the norm. Personality. The German Spitz is an energetic dog who loves to please the family and be the center of attention. They are high energy and would rather run around the yard or house than stay inside and cuddle. Since they are highly active, they love to play games that involve running and chasing toys. These small pups can be wary of strangers and are vocal, so they might bark around people they don't know. They have a high pitch bark that sounds, yappy, to some. They are very intelligent but can also be stubborn. It takes a strong-willed trainer to make sure these pups are obedient and well-trained. If you want a watchdog who will alert you to anyone who might approach your door, you can't do much better than the German Spitz. The German Spitz also has a high prey drive. Although, they can be taught to curb their barking and chasing tendencies through early training. They are well suited for household or families of any size and can live in an apartment or house, though they will need plenty of exercise and attention. Health. The German Spitz is a generally healthy dog breed but can be predisposed to the same general health concerns of any pup. While most are generally healthy, some may be prone to a few health issues, which is why it is important to maintain good care and regular veterinary checkups. Feeding. An ideal German Spitz diet should be formulated for a small breed with high energy. They have a tendency to gain weight if they are overfed, so you should stick to a regular feeding schedule and not leave food out during the day. Limit the number of treats, as well. As with all dogs, the German Spitz's dietary needs will change from puppyhood to adulthood and will continue to change into their senior years. You should ask your veterinarian for recommendations about your German Spitz's diet, as there is far too much variation among individual dogs including weight, energy, and health to make a specific recommendation. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. 
Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.